Okay, so there's four sections that we need to learn to play this song. We've got the verse, and we've got the chorus, and we've got a little connector bridge sort of a thing that happens at the end of the chorus. And then we've got we've got uh, some strumming chords too, okay? The song is actually in A flat, so it's dropped down a, a half step. And it's basically, you've got to get this picking pattern down. It's played on three strings, really. Well, the first part, anyways. So you've got your open A, uh, you've got your second fret of the G string, which is another A, and then you've got your high A here on the E string, on the fifth fret, right? So you've got A, A, and A, okay? And the picking pattern, it goes like this. I'll, I'll play it fast. So we're just playing A notes there, basically, on three strings, right? Um, so slowly, that pattern goes like this. Okay, and that pattern uh, shows up throughout the whole song. So that's the first chord, and then the second chord, he just drops that little finger down to the A flat, and he changes the bass note to the D string, okay? So we go from this, to that, right? Okay, so slowly that's... Okay, and then the next chord is, uh, it's like an E, but we're just gonna play it there. That's just uh, D2, um, G1. And then we just, we add our, our third finger here on the F sharp. So it's like an, uh, an E9. Okay, so that whole thing is... Uh, okay. And it, going back to the picking, um, uses third Lindsay Buckingham uses his third finger on that high string on the E string but I use my second finger so I I just use these three fingers right just my thumb and my first and second fingers it just sounds better for me to do it that way you'll have to figure out which fingers you want to use too right whatever works best for you um, this isn't an overly demanding finger picking song there's no, there's no place in it where you need to have your thumb and three fingers going it's you can do the whole thing with two fingers and your thumb okay so yeah we got this remember we're changing to the d string there as a bass okay and then we've got that chord and then we just go to an open a uh second fret of the g and open E, and, and uh, we climb the bass up there, so. So we're just going A, fourth fret of the A, which is the C sharp, and the open D. And just, just keeping, keeping those notes the same, the high notes the same. Okay, so then it finishes off with this lick, um, and the lick is, uh, it's just a pull off from the A4 to A2, just pull that off, and then open E, okay, so that whole bit goes, uh, and then we play this chord, which is like an E chord, but we just are going to fret the, uh, the G, G1 there because we're not playing those other strings, right? So it's just strictly E, G1, and open E here. Okay? It's hard for you to see my hand in there sometimes. Um, so that whole bit there uh, is... Okay? And then it, it eventually winds up going to the chorus, okay? So we'll go over the chorus now. The song is based around A, obviously, right? So, you know, you've got your A chord, your D chord, and your E chord. The chorus, you don't actually need that first finger on there. So I start without that. And uh, it's the same picking pattern. 
But the uh, it goes to the B string now, right? And it kind of goes on and off on that second fret. So I'll just play it. Okay, so that's the first part. Okay, and then the second part, um, the bass goes to that open D. And you keep alternating the B string on and off there on the second fret. Okay, and then the, th the third part is you put your first finger on the D string there, the second fret, to get an E note, okay, and uh, you play that. So all together it goes. Okay, and then you play this little lick. Okay. B string, right? So, and that repeats, right? So I'll play that up to speed. That's basically the chorus, and now there's that little bridge part that sort of, well, it's, he just plays it different. It's sort of the end of the chorus, right? And how that works is uh, you just need those two fingers there, just like the A chord, but take your third finger off, okay? And we just, uh, the first part of it goes like this. Okay, so same picking pattern. change and uh, we take off your first finger and put your third finger back on here. Actually don't put the third finger on there yet. Um, I'll just play it. Okay. Change bass. we're going to the to the open E string for bass okay so okay so that last picking pattern is uh, open E G string B string open E D string G string okay back into the verse. Okay, so that's basically everything uh, except for the strumming. And the strumming is, um, you see him play it live and he'll just... You know, he'll just play those open chords or sometimes he'll, um, I've seen him do it like... Like, like bar chords, like an A and then a C sharp minor and a D and an E, right? That, that bar shape. Um, but on the record, I think uh, I hear this open E through the whole thing. And uh, what I hear are these chords. It's like an A, like that, with that open E ringing. Okay, and then it's like a C sharp minor, but I just lift off the bar there, okay, and I actually don't fret that E string or the B string. So I just get A4, um, D5, G5, open B, open E. Okay, so. Okay, and then up to the D, and the way I play that D is I, uh, it's uh, A5, and I mute the, uh, the open D, although you could play it on that chord. But then you slide it up, and you have to mute that B 
because you're playing E now and you don't want that D in the E, right? Okay, so we got that, we got that, we got this. You know, you can either mute that D or just let it ring when you're on that D chord. And then slide it up two frets and make sure you mute that open D string there, right? And the strumming is just, you know, it's just back and forth, up and down, fairly even, as even as you can get it, right? into the chorus and that lick just goes on and on to the end of the song it doesn't do the bridge it doesn't do that anymore it just uh, just does that all the way through to the end okay and that's pretty well all you need to know but really the secret of the song is to it's the picking right because there's not much going on with the left hand really and you know slowly not too hard to handle, but the speed, the tempo of the song is about here. Um, okay, so it's quite fast, and that'll be the trick, I think, for most guys playing this, is to get that up to speed with the picking, okay? But it's a great song. Um, it's kind of the forgotten song by Fleetwood Mac to me. I mean, I think it should be right up there with Dreams and uh, and all their other big hits. Because I think it's a fantastic song. It's Lindsey Buckingham, right? In fact, I think he was going to put this out on a solo album, but wound up putting on a Fleetwood Mac album. And uh, anyways, great song. Fun to play. Not as hard as it sounds. So for an uh, intermediate, you know, beginnerish type person, you could probably handle this. Anyways, I hope you get something out of it. See you.